Lawmakers are calling on the state to not exclude central New York from participating in mobile sports betting. Reporter Karina Gary has this story. New York State Senator Joseph Griffo and State Assembly members Marianne Buttonshawn and Pamela Hunter released a statement today calling on the state to not exclude the Oneida Indian Nation in the legalization of mobile sports betting. State lawmakers and Governor Andrew Cuomo are currently trying to come to a deal in the New York State budget that would allow New Yorkers to use their smartphones and devices to place sports wagers. Sports betting exists. It's at bricks and mortar. Mobile betting will exist, and what we're trying to say is you need to apply that equally across the Native American casinos as well as the legal uh, designated state casinos. There is a growing concern that the deal would exclude areas where Native American tribes have exclusive rights to host and operate gaming, like Central New York's Cayuga, Shenango, Cortland, Herkimer, Lewis, Madison, Oneida, Onondaga, Oswego, and Otsego counties. Under a 2013 settlement agreement between the state and the Oneida Indian Nation, the Oneidas have gaming rights in the 10-county region, and the agreement included any potential for mobile sports betting. But the governor's current proposal would exclude the Oneidas from placing their servers at commercial casinos. And this proposal is uh, ill-advised and uh, does not make a lot, of, is not reasonable, and uh, I'm hopeful that they will see the errors based upon what we are bringing to their attention and what we are suggesting as alternatives, uh, which could be beneficial to everyone that's involved in this. By excluding the Oneida Indian Nation, they are also keeping residents of the 10-county region from participating in mobile sports betting and potentially creating a breach in the settlement agreement created between the Oneidas and the state, resulting in a loss of tens of millions of dollars for local communities and New York. Reporting from Utica, I'm Karina Gary, Eyewitness News. Be sure to get our 